All right, so we printed quite a few things with different materials and the printer did very well with everything. So I stuck to using the standard profile, which is still very reasonably quick at 250 millimeters a second. Some stuff I printed a little slower at like 200. But yeah, with that said, let's go ahead and take a closer look at the models and we'll start with the ones that were included with the printer, which for the first one here, we have this scraper. So this is all white PLA. I think it's in matte, so it's not as shiny. But yeah, as you guys can see, the layers go down very nicely. The offset is perfect. The PEI sheets hold on very well and pops off when it cools. Very good detail here. The layers are very even and everything looks great. And this printed out very quickly. So here we have a phone holder printed out flat like this. And it's kind of like a print in place. It prints just like that and then it pops up. So you guys can see I didn't have to break anything loose. It just works. So it's going to go like this and your phone is going to sit right in there like that. And yeah, this is a pretty fun one here. Very easy to print and could be useful, I guess. It's got a little adjustments here and probably actually big enough to even hold like an iPad. So yeah, pretty cool. So this print here was quite useful because I just dropped all the pins. But this is a test for the printer of multiple things. And we'll see if we can go through it here fast. But we can see the overhangs, like the bridge. The bottom is nice. On the side here, we have long overhangs. And you can see, guys, it did very well. And then we got this overhang here. Also, it was perfect, 215. And the bottom looks great, too. You guys can see there. And then we got these pins here that pop out for how well the tolerances are. And you guys can see the first three pins here from the 0.6 to 0.4 just fell out. And the 0.2, let's see, yeah, it's moving around. So it wants to come out too. So yeah, over here we got like a cone shape. And this is to test roundness slash measuring these of diameter accuracy. And here we have a tower going up with these spike pins and this is a great test for retraction and you guys can see this printer did very well there's a little bit of hazing but look at those tips they're ultra sharp and perfect so yeah this print alone here shows how accurate this printer really is and how well it does with everything so for the next prints, I sliced from the phone in the Creality Cloud software. And here we have a Squirtle, which is a turtle slash squirrel, I guess. And you guys can see how beautiful this thing turned out. And this is a tricolor filament, so it kind of changes colors. But yeah, it's practically perfection, which is quite incredible. So yeah, just from the Creality Cloud, again, it just works. So here we have a pretty interesting print. This is like a fidget toy, and it's in two pieces, it actually comes apart here so this prints separately I printed this in black and this in white and you guys can see how this is made here and it's got like a thumb stick on it kind of like a joystick and you just put it together kind of clips on you fidget it around with it I guess is the whole point it's kind of like a fidget toy and the little spring is actually really strong in there yeah pretty cool and by the way, all these models I found on the Creality Cloud, which is a great ecosystem for free and also premium or paid models that they have that are really nice. So this is a great model because this is like a gear and it has separate pieces all around. And this is a functional print. I like to print this because it tests the tolerances and you guys can see this thing printed and just popped off like this and shows that this printer has very good accuracy. Not only is it round, but there's good tolerances in between all the little gears. So yeah, there is like a little bit of a lip here, but other than that, it's a very nice print that's pretty much perfect. Here we have the octopus also in that same tricolor filament. It also turned out excellent. So we have all these tentacles that have to stick to the bed and they did without popping off. There's very minimal stringing or anything. There's a lot of retraction between the little pieces here. And this printed out really fast. I think it was about an hour or so. Might have been less, but in any case, it's pretty quick for this many retractions. So again, very impressive. 
for the V3. Now what's even more impressive is probably this print here. So this is chain mail and it was printed like this on the bill plate. And you guys can see every piece is here and nothing broke loose or stuck or got messed up. And we have thousands and thousands of retractions here, guys. And look how well this turned out. So this is really a stress test for the extruder. And I guess also for the bill plate as it held everything down. Yeah, this is really fun to print as it looks like fabric. Also does a great test on the printer to see how well it performs with extreme retraction duty. And behind that we have a headphone stand, which is in black PLA. And by the way, all the prints we've seen here so far are PLA. And this turned out pretty well. I used the standard profile, but we did have a little bit of overhang issue here. And I think it needed supports. I didn't realize that this was more severe here. Can't really see it and I think it can get cleaned up. But as far as the layers, they all look pretty good for being black. It's a pretty large item here. We did have a little bit of gooping here between the two sides as it retracted and moved back and forth. But again, that's easily cleaned up. And the top also looks pretty decent too. So overall, very nice. Here I have some headphones that beautifully fit on here. And it's actually a pretty nice holder to hold your headphones. And for our last PLA print, we have this vase. And this thing turned out amazing. And by the way, this and the phone holder were actually printed to the max height of 250 millimeters. So yeah, this kind of gives you an idea how tall you can print. But check out this vase, guys. So this is in spiralized mode. It's just one layer all the way around. So there's a few layers on the bottom and then the rest is just one layer all the way up and you guys can see this thing is really strong well i just broke it but it is pla so you can't push it too hard but and not only that look at the quality of this thing it just looks incredible so yeah spiralized mode not a problem at all with this printer so for the next models we have ptg abs and tpu so for ptg we got the shark which turned out really nice so for this all i did is just turn up the temperature and this is what came out actually very nice and i believe i did turn the speed down also to about 180 millimeters a second so the shark does have a mouth that should open let's go ahead and see if we can and sure enough it popped let's see okay there we go and all the teeth are intact and actually look pretty good. And again, this is PETG or PETG. So yeah, very nice actually. Everything looks good. So the next thing we have is ABS and it's these two giant wheels. Now, I don't know why I decided to print two and why they're giant, but I was looking for some one tenth. But then when I saw how big they were, I was like, I wonder if this thing can do it because it was covering, you know, a lot of the bill plate as they're quite large. And this is ABS. And if you know ABS, you need a lot of heat. So the printer did preheat to 100 on the bed, no problems. And we printed 250 on the nozzle. Again, at a little bit of a slower speed, about 180. And this is what we got. So let's go ahead and look at one of them. So we can see the layers actually went down really nice here towards the top. But on the bottom, we did need the support in there. Everything looks decent. We do have a little bit of layer separation here. And I think it's because it needs more wall thickness or maybe just supports, I'm not sure. But in any case, it needs to be adjusted a bit. But what's impressive is it did stick and never popped off on both of these wheels, which are in ABS. So if you wanna do ABS printing, on the v3 you can on smaller items and looks like it's somewhat capable of larger ones too and so for our last print we have a little rocket here and this is printed in tpu as you can see this yellow roll here so it is still stuck to the bill plate let's see how easy it comes off and we can see on the bottom we do have a little bit of string on the first layer for whatever reason it almost looks like it wasn't retracting and you guys can see the bottom looks really good it's stuck but the more impressive part is the layers guys check out how smooth they are extremely smooth layers which is incredible so this is spiralized mode in tpu which really shows off the capabilities of tpu well this thing is wow i've never seen them this sealed well usually i can just push it and it leaks out but this one's sealed very well but anyways tpu you can really really fold and do things to it and then it just bounces back so just this one is sealed so well it takes a little bit here for it to bounce back yeah i've never seen one sealed that well and i printed quite a few of these so again this printer keeps impressing even here with tpu and again i'm very impressed with how well the layers went down so the core XZ is producing extremely good results here with any filament at quite high speed printing. But there are a few things to note about this printer, which one here is with maintenance. We do have rods, so there was grease included. So you do have to keep these lubricated as they dry out reasonably quick. And if you don't lubricate them, they're gonna start to wear out pretty quick. So yeah, rods are important to keep grease. So every 
10 uses or so, put a little lube on the rods. The only other thing that maybe is an issue is because this goes up and down and the filament's in the back here, when this goes down, this pull wants to unspool, so this anti-lash thing that came with mine does keep it from unspooling, but it makes the filament kind of go to the back and then it grabs on this back motor, you guys can see, but I had filament break because they caught on the motor once, kind of went underneath it and caught on it. Most of the time it just kind of jumps around, but if you can stick around for the first layer, you can just wind it back yourself and it's not an issue, but I did find that could be an issue. Another thing that's kind of a nuisance is you can't always feed your filament through the hot end very easily, even unlocking it and trying to push it through. It's kind of finicky and it doesn't always go through. So using the load and unload works well, but if you can't get it down to those gears where it pushes it, you might have to take off the tube here from the top and kind of manually feed it yourself, which again, it's not all the time, but some filaments, I guess, even cutting on an angle, don't want to go through and I have to fiddle around with it a bit. But other than that, this is an incredible printer that's quite capable. And as you can see, can print pretty much anything. The build construction is excellent. Cast aluminum on the base and the gantry. We got the very unique core X Z configuration for the upper portion and the Y rides on rails also the X the hot end is very capable love this little light up LED for the Creality logo we got dual parts cooling fans extruder it seems to do very well with any filament including TPU we have an excellent screen here with high resolution very easy to use connect and just a great UI overall. We do have a USB option here on the side and also a very great build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeters tall. And this vase here shows you guys how tall it can print. And also not to forget to mention the ceramic heating block on the hot end, which can easily do 300 C and the bed heats up to 100 with the PEI build plate that works very well. So yeah guys, as you can see, this is a very capable printer, definitely quite premium. The build quality is very nice and everything seems to be very well thought through. So this would be a great printer for anyone that is just getting started as it is quite intuitive for the most part. And pairing this thing with the Creality app makes it really easy to control everything from your phone slice prints, send them to the printer. You can see the printer status, what it's up to, and actually you could install a little camera here also to view what you're printing. So yeah, the hardware and software together make this a very compelling 3D printer, not only for beginners, but anyone else that just wants a printer that works out of the box.